This is an impossible triangle, as they call it. Looks like a triangle, but in fact, it's not. As soon as you get some reference, you can tell it's not. Let me show you something that did not work. I started out trying a uh, impossible triangle, a quick and dirty one, out of uh, plastic pipes like this. And my first attempt was to, I had this one long pipe like this, and I said, okay, well, with the pipe, I should be able to line it up like this. But as you can see, what happens is you get too much context, uh, and you can see that these two things clearly don't line up. This doesn't go in there. So the next thing I thought is, okay, I will uh, split the tube, and the two tubes will look like they're going into each other like that. But once again, you get the context with this round opening here, and it doesn't look like they match up. So, finally what I did is I took this thing like this. If I rotate this just right, it almost looks like it's going to work, but not quite. You still have a little too much context. And, yeah, but you can start to see where it almost looks like the impossible triangle. But again, look, seeing this opening right here gives it away pretty badly. However, the apparent uh, size difference between these two tubes is the giveaway. I suppose if I had it on a different background where it was uh, lower contrast or something, it would probably work better. But anyway, just some notes uh, when you're making your impossible triangle. The uh, context is very important and uh, making it look like those two things line up making this junction as ambiguous as possible. Okay, some notes on making your own impossible triangle. Hope you found it interesting.